the tenderloin in a state of emergency. Walk one block, there are signs of improvement. Walk another, it is encampments and people in obvious crisis with seemingly no intervention at all. The tenderloin looks a lot like a city wrestling with an emergency decades in the making. It's like people look like zombies and, you know, but they're, they're human beings. They're someone's son, someone's daughter, the husband. This is my first ever road trip in the U.S. actually. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. We're going to San Francisco. San Francisco has smash and grab hotspots. Well, first of all, we're at the Golden Gate Bridge site seeing and there's no bridge to look at right now. The San Francisco trip has been a little, a little interesting. I've been seeing a lot of things that have surprised me. So our first night at the motel, a motorcycle right beside my car was getting jacked. There's two guys outside stealing a motorcycle right next to Elisha's car. And you guys are... And they're saying we should do nothing about this. We should we should just you go in the car business, and bro. not do anything. This is street smart. <laughs> don't look at them. And let them steal the... And don't, it's not your bro. business, bro. Unless do you want to get fucking murked, don't. I would suggest not doing anything. Do not hold the camera up to them. <laughs> what are do you not doing? say what are you doing. Just... Just mind your business. Don't get in the car. Don't make eye contact. Just get in the car. We're gonna go get some to eat and sing some karaoke. I cannot believe this is how it works in America. We drive down uh, to get back home. Well, we actually wanted to find a karaoke bar last night, and there was just absolute chaos on the streets. Police cars blocking off roads, and just like groups of people and fights. And I'm wondering what has happened to San Francisco. Sophia. I'm Sophia. I'm Lysha. Nice to meet you. So how long have you lived in San Francisco? About two, a year and a half, I would a say. A year and a half? Yeah. So what have you seen here in the terms of homelessness? Very significant, I yeah. would say. It is almost like double this past year, I would say. Basically, I just found this dude passed out, and he was just completely purple. He just was lifeless, and I, I tapped, bro, and hella, hella other homeless homeless people came up, and they were like, yo, yeah, he's, he's dead. It's really not a pretty sad to see. Yeah. Just seen a lot, you know, it's so rampant that it's normal now. Now, if you pan the, the, your camera over there, you can see right here. This is what we talk about in San Francisco. Right here. So, you know, the opiate epidemic is very, very, very high. And do you think the homelessness is very much stigmatized out here? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would say absolutely. How so? Homelessness is something that people don't necessarily talk about. Like, they say, like, they support, like, making sure that it doesn't happen. But then, in a way, like, people just ignore when it, when it already exists. Yeah. We talk about a lot of things like social justice, reproductive rights, but we never talk about, like, homelessness. And yeah. it's, something, it's an issue that's always just, like, cast aside. It's, it's avoided, discussed. not right. talked about. Absolutely, yeah. I think a lot of people are a lot more willing to view substance abuse as something like human when it's someone who looks like them or someone who is at a, in the same position like in society as them. So I think a lot of people, like coming from a college perspective, a lot of people will do drugs in college and look at it in a completely different way than they'll look at like a homeless person doing drugs. Um, and so I think that creates a lot of stigma when you like sort of dehumanize someone and look at actions they're taking that are honestly pretty similar to actions a lot of people are in are taking. What did you have to say about San Francisco, the state of it today? Ah, it's getting crazier. It's okay. getting worse. And especially the tenderloin. The ten yeah, what's going on in the tenderloin? Oh my god, it's just like really upsetting. Even though you just walk on the street during the daytime. Yeah, I got uh, there was a couple times like someone just like followed me and yelled at us. It was not pleasant. What have you seen in terms of like the substance abuse and homelessness in the time that you've been um, here? 
I think there's a, a pretty decent correlation from what I've seen of like addiction and homelessness. I think a lot of times if you are addicted to substances or something, it can make it a lot harder to break out of that cycle of homelessness or find it harder to like get treatment or be accepted by certain places. There's people that are like staying in like little holes in the walls when they're like shut off and like they go out of business. And then there's like people who sleep on the step. But I feel like the reason they're doing the drugs is because they have nothing else to do and the only thing they look forward to is the drugs. It's because housing is expensive. San Francisco is overpopulated. So it's going to be kind of hard to figure out what you want to do when you're kind of already fucked up on the drug, you know? What do you think needs to be done about it? I feel like the only thing that really can be done is just more housing areas, more people on the watch for them. You know how there's an urban alchemy. Urban alchemy is already doing their best. There's already a lot of people who are trying to help. I just feel like it just keeps getting more and more every day that they're probably going to need like housings or using churches for places for people to sleep or just like more Narcan on you, honestly, because you never know. Like, you could go, like, I go here every morning for work, and I just see, like, people just, like, already, like, passed out on the bench and, like, can't really do anything about it. Or, like, people are just going crazy, screaming at shit, throwing stuff, you know what I mean? What have you seen here in terms of, like, the drug use and homelessness? Oh, it's at, a, at an all-time high. Why is it specifically, like, here? Why has it been going because up Because they have so much free programs out here in San Francisco. If you're homeless, it's the place to come to. Really? Because there's a lot of benefits. Showers, the uh, Glide Memorial Church, a bunch of eatery places you can eat. St. Vincent's free clothes. A bunch of shelters. Mm -hmm. GA, SSI is the place to come if you want benefits and, you know, and live have no other choice you know they, they you know they're stuck in that situation they don't have no job they don't have no income they have no place to stay and they can't afford it and everything is there anything else you have to say about san francisco it's still a pretty place and i still wish it got better though and avoid tender line if you are visiting here yeah fuck the sigma <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much yeah thank you